the university held its first commencement. Three women and two men graduated that year. As the first land-grant university in the nation, this fledgling university had a vision of providing innovative education to all people. That early vision has continued through to the present. With over 250 majors and a diverse student body, including students from all 50 states and more than 100 countries. Becoming one of the nation's top 50 public research universities by 2025 is today's vision for tomorrow. With academic programs among the best in the nation and professors who are leaders in their fields, Kansas State University is an international leader in teaching, learning, service, and research. Today's graduates join over 200,000 alumni who are proud to call K-State their alma mater. Congratulations! And thank you to all those who have supported them through their undergraduate experience at Kansas State University.
Good afternoon. I'm Don Boggs, Associate Dean of the College of Agriculture. Welcome to the College of Agriculture Spring Commencement Ceremony. I wish to thank our bagpiper, Terry Ferguson, a K-State alumnus, and our organist, Stephen Kachera, a senior in applied music and accounting for the processional music. It is now my pleasure to introduce Katrina Neiman, graduating senior in animal sciences and industry from Millsap, Texas, to sing our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars Thank you, Katrina. That was outstanding. Audience, please be seated at this time. Ben Brown, a graduating senior from Appleton, Missouri, has been selected to share reflections. Ben will graduate with a degree in agricultural economics and a minor in agronomy. Ben has been extremely engaged at all levels of the university during his time at K-State. He has served as College of Agricultural Student Senator, was a member of the Wheat State Agronomy Club and the Agricultural Econ Ag Business Club, and served in officer roles in Blue Key Honorary Alpha Gamma Rho Fraternity, and he was the president of the College of Ag Ambassadors. Ben gained work experience through an internship with Monsanto and as a student worker at K-State in the, in the K-State Governmental Relations Office and the College of Agriculture Academic Programs Office. He also worked as a teaching assistant for Dr. Barry Flinchbaugh's Ag Policy course and Ben has studied abroad in Brazil this past January and he's organized several community service projects including leading the effort to write more than 100 letters to World War II veterans as part of the Kansas Honor Flight Project. After graduation, Ben plans to pursue a master's degree in agricultural economics at the University of Missouri's Food and Agricultural Policy Research Institute. Join me in welcoming Mr. Ben Brown for reflections. Ben. Thank you, Dr. Boggs. Good afternoon. It is my pleasure to have the opportunity to share my reflections with you today. When I think about college, there are a couple of things that jump right out the bowl trips we took to Phoenix, and how we had the best time driving, but after driving through the Dust Bowl in New Mexico, wished we would flown, or all the great events that were held on K-State's campus, like past US speakers, or United States Secretaries of Agriculture, or Miss America. But ultimately, we also think about the late nights spent with friends, studying in the library, cramming for that final, or hanging out in one of Manhattan's great restaurants. We talk about the lack of time and how we wish things would just slow down. But we should remember that it isn't the amount of time we should blame, but the way we use it. Time is an interesting thing. It is the only thing that I can think of that is moving at, 
moving and staying still at the same moment. We can sit in a calculus class and wonder if time is moving at all, or we can look back on four incredible years of college and wonder where it is all gone. It is something when it is gone, it is gone, and it is something that when we think we have all the time in the world, we really don't. But at the end of the day, time is our most precious resource, and the way we use it is important. While we sit here today with our friends and families awaiting the future, I want to recap a few of the moments that made our time at Kansas State University important. And even though my experiences are different than your experiences, and his experiences are different than her experiences, there are a couple experiences that connect us all. Upon arrival to campus, some of us probably felt a little anxious or nervous about what exactly was going to happen. For some of us, we were starting in a place where we didn't know anyone, and that frightened us a bit. But after spending just a few weeks on campus, it became apparent that we were welcome here, and that the people we now call our classmates would eventually become our best friends. We come as one, but are leaving united. By the time our sophomore year rolled around, we started to see these big yellow cranes popping up all over campus, which is a good thing because it shows that our university is prospering. During our time in the College of Agriculture, we got, in a, got to witness the construction of the OH Cruise Feed Mill, the Sheep and Meat Goat Unit, and the Stanley Stout Center, and then their completions. Those buildings were a vision, and from that vision, we have great products standing a thousand, feet, a thousand yards away. We see examples of vision throughout our campus and are constantly reminded that our visions can be the difference. By our junior year, our college started wrapping up the plans for a 2025 strategic plan and the goal of being a top five college of agriculture in the United States. While we await for the results, it is important to remember that these goals are efforts to be better tomorrow than we were today. And I think with our help as alumni and our leadership, we can help our college get there. Of course, what would any college reflection be without the mentioning of our athletics program. Bill Snyder is a class act, and all of our teams constantly strive to meet expectations and exceed them. Because of Coach Snyder, we are fortunate to still use the term the huddle. And that's important because the huddle provides everyone with the opportunity to get on the same page and run through the game plan. It minimizes problems and gives you the greatest chance to be successful. Then once everyone understands what is to be done, you go out and perform what you've learned. The huddle is a little like a college. It's now time to go out into the world and run our play. In my mind, the College of Agriculture is unity, a strong vision, a goal to be better tomorrow than we were today, and attention to individual performances and a reminder of the game plan. If the College of Agriculture is all of these things, and then if the time that was spent here was used to prepare us to carry on these characteristics into every corner of the world, then our university and our future are in pretty good shape. And I would say that our time spent here was well worth it. All in all, not bad, not bad at all. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. As we begin the program, I will introduce the platform party. Please hold your applause until all have been introduced. On my immediate left is Dr. John Floros, Dean of the College of Agriculture and Director of K-State Research and Extension. Dr. Kirk Schultz, Kansas State University President. Dr. April Mason, Kansas State University Provost and Senior Vice President. John Neiman, President, Cargill Food Distribution, Cargill Meat Solutions. And Dr. Christine Wilson, Assistant Dean, College of Agriculture. In the second row, if they, Dr. Alan Featherstone, Head of the Department of Agricultural Economics. Dr. Chris Boone, Head of the Department of Communications and Agricultural Education. Dr. Joe Harner, Head of the Department of Biological and Agricultural Engineering. Dr. Gary Pierzynski, Head of the Department of Agronomy. And Dr. Candace Shoemaker, Head of the Department of Horticulture, Forestry, and Recreational Resources. Continuing on my right, Dr. Zia Wiley, Assistant Dean in the College of Agriculture. Reagan Kays, a graduating senior in Agricultural Economics. Ben Brown, graduating senior in Agricultural Economics and Katrina Neiman, graduating senior in Animal Sciences and Industry. On the second row, Dr. Ken Odie, head of the Department of Animal Sciences and Industry, Dr. John Unruh, professor of Food Science and Industry, Dr. Gordon Smith, head of the Department of Grain Science and Industry, Dr. John Ruberson, head of the Department of Entomology, and Brad Seidner, senior vice president and COO of the K-State Alumni Association. Thank you for all participating today. Let's give them all a round of applause. <laughs> I 
We're very pleased that you've all joined us today for the Spring 2015 College of Ag commencement. Today we are assembled to honor an excellent group of agricultural graduates for their many accomplishments. However, we also wish to acknowledge some other very important people who made it possible for our graduates to succeed, the family members that are present today. We have many spouses and children, parents, siblings, grandparents and great-grandparents with us today. Will all of the family members of our graduates please stand and be recognized, and graduates, make sure you give them a loud round of applause. In addition to our great students, we're fortunate at Kate State to have an outstanding group of faculty in the College of Agriculture that have distinguished them th some themselves through excellence in teaching, advising, extension, and research activities this year. The names and awards are listed on pages 49 through 50 of the commencement program. As you can see, there's an extensive group of faculty members who have been received recognition at the university, regional, and national levels. But all the faculty award recipients that are present with us today, please stand to be recognized. Congratulations. <laughs> At this time, we will recognize and congratulate those students who are graduating with university honors, university academic honors and those students who have completed the university honors or College of Agricultural Scholars program. At this time, I would ask Dr. Christine Wilson, Assistant Dean to the podium to announce the names of the honors and scholars program graduates. Dr. Wilson. Students, as I read your names, please stand at your location and remain standing until all in your group have been introduced. Students graduating with an overall GPA of 3.75 and above on at least 60 graded K-State credits are designated cum laude. The cum laude graduates are Michael Baker, William Baum Baumgartner, Aaron Bushling, Rachel Budke, Abraham De La Rosa Jr., Paige Druffel, Julie Edmonds, Darren Falk, Carolyn Fox, Reed Gleason, Teresa Jardine, Brady Jensen, Mitchell Keller, Karen Lelish, Jacqueline Neville, Lindsay Pease, Victor Rue, Caitlin Salmons, Michael Shetler, Courtney Schultz, Shannon Smith, please join me in congratulating our cum laude graduates. You may be seated. Graduates who have attained an overall GPA of 3.85 or above on at least 60 K-State graded credits are designated magna cum laude. Our magna cum laude graduates are Madeline Anderson, Renee Bushling, Logan Bracey, Carson Brown, Megan Ewell, Susie Fowler, Amelia, Amelia Govert, Ann Hartman, Gordon Harton, Pedro Mossi, Cheyenne Moyer, Courtney Nicholson, Kelly Niffler, Yuda O, oh, Jessica Prado, Tess Rickner, Ryan Schmidt, Kinsey Selke, Nathan Stinson, Amanda Strickler, Kenneth Tharman, Corey Thyfault, Nancy Turner, Lindsay Upperman. Please join me in congratulating our magna cum laude graduates. You may be seated. Graduates who have attained an overall GPA of 3.95 or above on at least 60 graded K-State credits are designated summa cum laude. Our summa cum laude graduates are Julie Bitter, Logan Britton, Tenery Carter, Haley Chauvin, Ann Clark, Caitlin Comstock, 
Caitlin Foley, Max Frieders, Kaya Gorley, Garrison Gundy, Alicia Hampton, Catherine Karst, Reagan Kays, Bailey McClelland, Matthew McKernan, Daniel Neely, Brady Rundell, Madeline Sanders, Margaret Seiler, Nathan Shipley, Roxanne Steinlogge, Kelsey Stelting, Garrett Stevenson, Jorge Torbiarte Sotomayor, Jason Trundle, Caitlin Vincent, Elizabeth Wilk, Candace Wilson, Nicholas Weiniger, Ali Wingert. Please join me in congratulating our summa cum laude graduates. You may be seated. We have nine graduates who have completed either the University Honors Program or the College of Agriculture Scholars Program. These graduates have completed a project under the supervision of a faculty member and have completed advanced coursework to earn the distinction of Honors Program graduate. At this time, we will recognize our Honors and Scholars Program graduates. Please stand as I read your names. Samantha Bolin, Logan Britton, Michaela Brubaker, Caitlin Delano, Megan Ewell, Pedro Massi, Evelyn Nordberg, Yuda O, oh, Kelsey Stelting. Please join me in congratulating our Honors and Scholars Program graduates. You may be seated. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce John Neiman, President of Cargill Food Distribution, Cargill Meat Solutions, as our commencement speaker. John Neiman grew up on a diversified family farm in Atchison County, Kansas. He entered Kansas State University in the fall of 1989, where he was a K-State student ambassador. He was also a member of Alpha Gamma Rho fraternity and was on the student alumni board. After graduating from K-State with a degree in agribusiness in 1993, John joined Elanco Animal Health where he provided leadership in numerous programs before joining Cargill in 2001. While with Cargo, he has served in several marketing, sales, and operational roles. In May 2010, he was named Vice President and General Manager of Cargill's Fresno Beef Facilities in Fresno, California. The Fresno business experienced a dramatic turnaround financially and an employment engagement under John's leadership. He encouraged his teammates to volunteer in the local community and led efforts to support the United Way, Earth Day, cleanup efforts, Habitat for Humanity, and the Ronald McDonald House Charities. In June 2013, John became president of Cargill Food Distribution, moving his family back to Kansas. He and his leadership team were challenged to revitalize the more than 30-year-old division of Cargill. Within just one year, the food distribution business is breaking records and its business model has been diversified to establish greater growth for the future. John currently serves as chair of the K-State College of Agriculture, Agricultural Dean's Advisory Council, and represents Cargill on the National FFA Foundation Sponsors Board. He's a lifetime member of National FFA and the K-State Alumni Association and was recognized as this year's College of Agriculture Outstanding Young Alumnus. Please join me in welcoming Mr. John Neiman. So for the 10 or so of you that didn't get a stand up during academic recognition, I'm with you. It's okay, you still have a chance. First of all, congratulations to all of you and wow, it is so great to be you. What a great day. But what I'm going to challenge you with over the next couple of minutes is envisioning even a greater day. I want you to picture the year 2050, 35 years from now. The world is different. There's 9 billion people inhabit this earth. And those people need food, and they need water, but most importantly, they need you. And what I would tell you is that as you look back 35 years from now on your legacy, 
Think about what it could be. Think about what you could do to change the world. Here's what it could sound like. Extreme hunger does not exist. Sustainability of natural resources is a norm. It's not a fad or an initiative. In fact, in 2050, the American farmers and ranchers are recognized as the world's best models of stewardship of the land. Fresh water is not a crisis because we figured out how to efficiently convert salt water to fresh water. We figured out how to pipe water all across the country the way we piped oil and gas in 2015. We also figured out how to take floodwaters and move them to places in need so that they just weren't there for kayak races down Bluemont when there were flash floods in 2015. Natural, sustainable, and safe and accepted practices are clearly in place for feeding 9 billion people. We've made so much progress since 2015, even the social bloggers that are slightly irresponsible and maybe a few restaurant chains are out putting those pseudoscience things are dismissed because universities and science and farmers and ranchers are the credible source in the world. So here's the question for you. Will it be true? Will it happen? Could it be that the new discoveries for feeding this world and making it more sustainable come from this class of graduates? What I can tell you is that the world needs you and the world expects you to bring that innovation and that thought process to bear. Over the next 35 years, the world's going to consume more food than it's produced in the history of its existing time. And as we look at solving those global issues and creating a nutrition and balanced meal for a very diverse world, it's going to need each of us to make that happen. So whether you're going back to the farm, you're going into agribusiness, you're researching, you're teaching, you're a free enterpriser, or you're not sure what's going to happen 90 minutes from now, we still need all of you to step up and make great things happen. I would offer that to meet this grand challenge of your generation, there's four key elements that will make a difference no matter the challenges faced. Number one, be a leader, a leader with integrity, courage, and conviction. What does this mean? Hold yourself accountable to a higher level. Hold those around you accountable to a higher level. It means do the right things right, even when they're difficult. Most importantly, when no one's watching. It means you know what you believe in and why you believe in it, so that you can have the conviction and the relentless determination to have it come true. But it also means you listen, you learn, and you lead with humility. In doing all this, you'll avoid the pitfalls of misinformation and unreliable sources for your speak, for your actions, and the positions you take on important topics that will face you. The reality is leaders know their facts, they do their homework, and they also avoid believing everything on the internet. Remember this, when you reflect back and others reflect back on your time, they won't remember how much money you made, what your title was, how many toys you collected, but they will remember your character, your leadership, and how you chose to serve others. Number two, be a risk, be a risk taker and learn how to fail forward. In other words, be bold. Be willing to make mistakes and learn from them. Be a student of the changes and opportunities that face you, and also be willing to make moves without 100% of the information and 100% assurance that you'll be successful. When you have a great idea and you go share it and somebody says, that's not gonna work, who are you gonna believe? The spark that was inside you or those that are trying to hold you back? Number three, have a servant's heart. At the heart of all great leaders, great communities, and great companies are people who know how to serve and help others with humility and great generosity. And trust me, K-State will know where you are and they will find you for that generosity. <laughs> Number three, as you think about this and you think about having that servant's heart, you need to think about something my father-in-law said to me 20 years ago right before I walked down the aisle to marry his daughter. 
He said, young man, he said, give 60% and expect 40% and you will most certainly live a happy life. It's that way in service too, that we should give more than we expect to receive. Additionally, one of the greatest levels of personal satisfaction comes when your heart and your mind and your soul are dedicated to a greater good than yourself. We are merely stewards of what we've been bestowed here on earth, and I think that belief comes deep inside the heart. So I would challenge you to get your heart right so that you have the right mindset to do all that you want to do and all that you choose to pursue. Now I have to admit early in life I was pretty selfish. There's a few in here that might attest to that. But it was more about what I had and more about what I did. But I realized soon that that was not the way to go. It was humbling, but I discovered that nothing I had, including promotions, were because of just me. I was very blessed to have people around me that reminded me that all things came from the good Lord, and I was blessed to have them. But it took a while for my heart to authentically change, but when it did, the blessings were soon to follow. So in order to create a legacy, to be a leader, to take risk, and to serve others, there's one more important thing, and that's a great attitude. Every day you have the opportunity to wake up, and you have a choice to make about your attitude. Make the right choice. I realize that when I'm plugged into a higher calling than myself, than my to-do list, than my job, there's greater satisfaction, greater joy, and my family would attest, when I'm doing that, my attitude is a lot more enjoyable to be around. So oftentimes what happens when you get to a point in life like graduation, you make a to-do list. I'm gonna challenge you to make a not to-do list. So as I close, I'd like to share a few not to do things with you. Do not see today as a destination. It's merely the beginning. Do not stop learning. Always be a student. Do not accept status quo or the ways of the world. Bring new thinking. Do not give up when you fail. Instead, fail forward because it gets you one step closer to success. Do not waste your gifts. Step out in faith and have the fortitude to make a difference. The world needs your God-given gifts to be fully realized for us to achieve and go up against the great challenges. And finally, do not, and I repeat, do not believe for one minute that this world is getting worse because what they need to realize is they have you and you are gonna make the world a better place. God bless. Thank you so much, John, for sharing those remarks. Reagan Kays, a graduating senior from Weir, Kansas, has been selected to, del to deliver the graduate address. Reagan will graduate in agribusiness with minors in animal sciences and leadership studies. During his time at K-State, Reagan has been extremely active as a student leader. He's been a member of the Collegiate Farm Bureau and the Ag Econ Ag Business Club, and he's taken on leadership roles in the College of Agricultural Ambassadors, K-State Student Foundation, K-State Proud, the Kansas Junior Livestock Show, and Alpha Gamma Fraternity. Reagan served as president of Blue Key Senior Honorary, and he served three terms as a College of Agricultural Student Senator for be before being elected as the K-State Student Body President last spring. As K-State Student Body President, Reagan worked on several university committees and, de committees and dedicated considerable time advocating for Lifeline 911, law to be implemented in the state of Kansas. Reagan also worked as a student worker in the Office of Governmental Relations, and he completed internships with Deere and Company, Kansas Department of Agriculture, and the city of Manhattan. Reagan participated in a faculty-led study tour to Brazil and spent a summer studying at the Czech University of Life Sciences in Prague, Czech Republic. Reagan has received numerous awards and accolades during his time at K-State, including be being selected as the 2013 College of Agriculture Student of the Year and was this year's recipient of the Anderson Senior Award for Outstanding Leadership. After graduation, Reagan will be attending law school at Georgetown University. Please welcome Mr. Reagan Caves. I think Dr. Boggs is trying to hide my speech, but I found it. 
Well, today, more than 400 of us will finally face the reality that we can proudly call ourselves K-State alumni. And for that, we should celebrate. Each of us has put a great deal of effort and hard work into making it here today. Some of us Victory Lap seniors, like myself, have spent even more time. As graduates, we have stayed up late, we have missed out on things, and you have made the, made the needed sacrifices to be here today. Parents, significant others, family and friends have also made sacrifices to enable us to be in the octagon of doom for this special event. I would like to take a chance to congratulate all of our graduates, family, and friends today. Please join me in a round of applause. I know sometimes it's hard for us as a college to come to a consensus on some things, but I think we can agree on one thing, and that's call how ice cream's the best. I have another thing I think we can agree on, and John kind of alluded to it in his speech, and that the agriculture industry during our lifetime will be much different than the industry our grandparents or parents grew up in. The days of sitting on a tractor in Ford County, Kansas, all day going home to a home-cooked meal and then going to sleep and not being aware of the world around us are days of the past. As graduates prepared for careers in agriculture, we will have to work with other people to move agriculture forward and provide the food necessary for the world. Not everyone involved in agriculture has an agriculture degree. Therefore, I'm charging you with an even more daunting task. In order to meet the challenges ahead, we must work hand in glove with other industries. I'm sorry to break the news to you, ladies and gentlemen, but we can't do it on our own. For centuries, agriculturalists have been self-made people that are independent. But to be successful, we must collaborate with other industries. According to Webster's Dictionary, collaborative can be defined as to work with another person or group in order to achieve something. We need the transportation industry to get our products to the market. We need business people to get the food and fiber that we produce into the hands of our consumers. And we need attorneys to make sure that we produce within the boundaries of the law. Let's hi highlight two people up here on the stage with me today that we need those kind of professionals to make our industry successful. President Schultz, if you could stop tweeting and join us. Stand up, please, real quick. We need engineers like President Schultz to help pr provide our, tr our green, orange, and uh, red tractors and to provide our food systems. Thank you, Dr. Schultz. Yeah, no. Yes, you can. Tweet again. Yeah. <laughs> tweet again if you'd like. We need professionals in the nutrition industry, like Provost Mason, would you please stand up? We need nutritionists to make, th make sure the food that we provide to customers in our country and around the world is what they need and what provides uh, a cure for the hunger that is in our world today. Thank you, Provost Mason. Agriculture cannot feed the world without collaboration. Today I'm going to ask a lot for you, from you. Not only am I going to ask you to be adaptive and change our industry for the better moving into the future, I am also going to ask you to be humble as we do it. Are we graduating from the best college on campus? Yes, we are, no doubt. Do we have the best students on campus? I'm a little biased, but I say yes, we do. Do we have the opportunity to do what we love and get paid a lot of money to do it? Yes, we do. And do we have a noble cause in feeding the world? Yes, of course, and I don't think there's an argument there. But I think too often, we think our industry is the best and we do everything better than everybody else, which can be true. But I think agriculturists need to rely on other industries to be successful in the next 50 to 100 years. As agricultural graduates, we cannot exist on an island by ourselves. With the challenges facing us in the future, we cannot stand alone. To quote the famous leader Nelson Mandela, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. As agricultural graduates, I challenge each and every one of you to use your education 
to, on behalf of a greater good, and that good is a collaboration to feed the world. Congratulations, graduates, and I'm going to leave you with my two favorite words, Go Cats! Leave it to the lawyer to mess up the page. So. <laughs> Thank you, Reagan. Before we proceed to the degree ceremony, we are pleased to have Brad Seidner. Brad is the Senior Vice President and CEO of the K-State Alumni Association to bring special greetings on behalf of the K-State Alumni Association. Brad? Well, good afternoon, graduates. And again, welcome family and friends. On behalf of the Kansas State Alumni Association, representing over 175,000 living graduates of Kansas State, we'd like to offer each of you our congratulations on your special accomplishment here today. We are also here to welcome you into a new relationship with your alma mater. Our mission at the Alumni Association is to lead and inspire lifelong involvement that will benefit Kansas State University and all members of our Wildcat community. I'd like to share three core values that guide us in our mission to help keep you connected with K-State. The first value is link. The Alumni Association provides the lifelong link that alumni depend upon to remain connected to your university. You can stay in touch through hundreds of alumni activities on campus, across the country, and even internationally. Another value is tradition. Today, you will likely celebrate a few traditions, like singing the alma mater, or even, or even stopping to take a KSU photo at your favorite place on campus. And the third value is purple. Yes, K-State purple. For us K-Staters, it's more than a color. It's a symbol of pride and connection. Because when you see someone wearing K-State purple, or a K-State class ring, you immediately feel that sense of family. I'd also like to share with you that your College of Agriculture and the Alumni Association are providing you with a complimentary one-year membership to the Alumni Association. And we hope you'll always be an active member of the Alumni Association. K-State alumni are among the most loyal in the nation. In fact, you are now part of the number one Alumni Association for 19 consecutive years in the Big 12 Conference for its percentage of graduates that are members. Well, that loyalty is shared worldwide by generations of K-Staters who have the same passion for K-State that you feel today as you earn your degree from one of the finest universities in the nation. The Alumni Association is also pleased to have presented to you on your chair when you came in today a gift of an exclusive alumni business card holder. And we hope you enjoy it. And as you go through life and your titles and names and addresses change, Please be sure to keep us updated, because we want to make sure that you are always connected to your K-State family. So again, congratulations on your special achievement here today. Be proud of your university. Wear your purple with pride. And as always, let's go K-State! Thank you, Brad. We have a few additional announcements for our before our degree ceremony. The College of Agriculture is pleased to provide a complimentary 5 by 7 professional photograph of your graduation. One photo will be taken on stage and a second photo will be taken by the backdrop at the rear of the seating area. Please pause and turn toward the camera to make sure you're ready for your photo when you get your degree cover. Family members, if you want to take pictures, you may do so from behind the roped area around the edge of the floor seating. Please refer to your commencement program, pages 50 through 53, for the order in which graduates will be recognized. Graduates majoring in agribusiness through wildlife and outdoor enterprise management are seated on the west side and will cross the stage from west to east. The remaining graduates are seated on the east side and will cross the stage from east to west. Please prepare for your photo just before your graduate approaches the stage, then return to your seat so others can access the area. 
It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. John Floros, Dean of the College of Agriculture and Director of K-State Research and Extension to proceed with the conferral of degrees. Dr. Floros. Would all the graduates please rise for the conferral of degrees? By the authority of the people of Kansas and the Kansas Board of Regents, and upon recommendation of, by the faculty, and upon completion of all degree requirements, I am pleased to confer upon you the respective degrees you have earned at Kansas State University. Graduates, please move your tussles to the left side of your mortar board. Again, congratulations, and please be seated. We'll now proceed with the, con the continuation of the uh, administration. Will join me in preparing for the diploma cover presentation. The department heads will present diploma covers to each graduate as they cross the stage, and K-State President Kirk Schultz, Provost April Mason, and I will have the pleasure of congratulating the graduates as they cross the stage. Thank you, Dean Floros. I will now introduce the graduates for individual recognition on the stage and presentation of diploma covers. We will proceed in order by major as listed in your program on pages 50 to 53. I would like to thank our faculty marshals, Drs. Kim Williams, Lori Baker, Mickey Ransom, Dave Nichols, Shannon Washburn, and Hikaru Peterson, who will assist in directing you to and from the stage. It is now my privilege to introduce Dr. Alan Featherstone, head of the Department of Agricultural Economics, who will present diploma covers to the graduates receiving the Bachelor of Science in Agribusiness and the Bachelor of Science in Agriculture with a major in Agricultural Economics. We will begin with our graduates receiving a degree in Agribusiness. Caitlin Cecilia Barthol. Brittany Danielle Borsma. Whitney Michelle Borsma. Caitlin Belt. Lindsay Victoria Bulk. Kyle William Bunker. Andrew David Campbell. Braden Christopher Cox. Austin Robert Crabtree. Dylan Orlando Crossan. Caitlin M. Delano. Emily Brooke Ellenberger. Justine Kiera Floyd. Josh Michael Good. Jeremy Michael Groney. Spencer Dwight Haltom. Dalton Dwayne Hodkinson. Lucas Allen Holsapple. Reagan Kays. Hayes John Kelman. Frederick Carter Kerr.
Lindsay Ledbetter. Clint Edwin Lee. Austin Patrick McFarlane. Bailey Ann McClelland. Cameron Eugene McCorkle. Bryce Robert Miller. Mackenzie Mortimer. Kylie Kim Neighbor. Kale Robert Newell. Tyson Charles Pettyjohn. Ethan Blaine Phillips. Alex Brent Rezac. Caden Lee Rausch. Natasha Renee Ruti. Andrew Kevin Russell. Zane Dalton Sanders. Matthew Dean Schmaley. Brian Schmidt. Andy John Schoen. Luke Jared Schamberg. Rebecca Jean Smalley. Colton Chas Smith. Aaron Philip Summer. Andrea Lee Steenbach. Amy Marie Stroberg. Cameron Scott Twombly. Nicholas James Weiniger. We will now recognize our graduates with a major in Agricultural Economics. Jesse Earl Ahrens. Andrew Albers. Blake Leo Bergkamp. Aaron Michael Bushling. Benjamin Patrick Brown. Craig Kendall Bussey. Katie Marie Campbell. William W. Dammy Longenacre. Hazen Collier Deeds. Nathan Alexander Deeds. Ellen Elizabeth Drummond. Max Anthony Frieders. Reed A. Gleason. Tyler J. Hare. 
Christopher Bruce Hall. Stephen Roland Harkness. Christian T. Heitschmidt. Nicholas Dean Herman. Brent Joseph Yazik. Brandon Eugene Keller. Curtis Dale Larson. Austin Nathaniel Love. Guiley Brooke Martin. Pedro Matias Masi Godoy. Timothy Avery McCoy. Ryan Joseph McCulloch. Jacqueline Ann Neville. Cooper James O'Brien. Jacob Timothy Oldie. Taylor Lynn Peterson. Michael Taylor Porter. Levi Myron Rapp. Alexander John Rees. Brady Robert Rundell. Nathan Lee Stinson. Jason Allen Trundle. Spencer Garrett Walker. Nicholas Stephen Weiber. Candace Lee Wilson. I am now pleased to introduce Dr. Chris Boone, head of the Department of Communications and Agricultural Education, who will present diploma covers to the graduates receiving the Bachelor of Science in Agriculture with majors in Agricultural Communications and Journalism and Agricultural Education. We'll begin with our students with a major in Agricultural Communication and Journalism. Logan Levi Britton. Michaela Ann Brubaker. Keely Joe Curran. Paige Alexandra Druffel. Tanisha KJ Howard. Brianna Lynn Jacobus. Margaret Claire Seiler. Kennedy Taylor St. George. We will now recognize our graduates with a major in agricultural education. Hannah Kate Anderson. Tara Marie Glidden. Alicia Noel Hampton. Caitlin Joy Harlow. Teresa Louise Jardine. 
Presenting her diploma cover today is her father, Dr. Dr. Doug Jardine, Professor in Plant Pathology. <laughs> Kayla Wesley Ann Clare. Sarah Nicole Lewis. Jonathan Aaron Meyer. Sarah Nicole Schifferdecker. Kinsey Diane Selke. Amanda Taylor Strickler. Jacob William Stroda. Caitlin Nicole Vincent. Sarah Ruth Ann Wint. Mackenzie Douglas Witzel. Now I would like to introduce Dr. Joe Harner, head of the Department of Biological and Agricultural Engineering, who will present to graduates receiving the Bachelor of Science in Agriculture with a major in Agricultural Technology Management. Keaton Earl Argabright. Darren Kenton Falk. Jacob Ryan Sylvester. Kenneth James Tharman. Jorge Luis Torbiarte Sotomayor. Stuart V. Wakeman. Next, Dr. Gary Prusinski, head of the Department of Agronomy, will present to the graduates receiving the Bachelor of Science in Agriculture with a major in Agronomy. Craig Michael Adams. Patrick Michael Bergkamp. Travis Martin Boyles. Daniel Kelly Carlson. Curtis Charles Clausen. Brady Lewis Coover. Brian Frederick Fisher. Carolyn Ann Fox. Emma Lee Gantz. Ryan Matthew Gearhan. Clyde Daniel Glissman. Garrison James Gundy. Zachary Ronald Hanner. Alec Michael Horton. David Andrew Jansen. Nicholas Stephen Johnson. Jessica Lee Katz. Catherine Janelle Kaus. Mitchell Ryan Keller. Emily Ann Lingenfelter. <laughs> Ashley Abigail Lawrence. Cole Michael McCurry. 
Matthew Murrow. Evelyn Christine Nordberg. Andrew Ford Norton. Scott Michael Osner. Garrett Adam Reese. Jacob Urish. Zachary John Vincent. Next, Dr. Candace Shoemaker, head of the Department of Horticulture, Forestry, and Recreation Resources, will present to graduates receiving the Bachelor of Science degree in Agriculture with majors in Horticulture, Park Management and Conservation, and Wildlife and Outdoor Enterprise Management. We will begin with our graduates with a major in Horticulture. Chantel Rose Adkins. Gina Michelle Alanis. Lisa Marie Angel. Luke K. Becker. Kelsey May Hattasol. Kennedy Taylor Keating. Matthew Ronald McKernan. Andrew Jacob McNeve. Troy David Mert. Molly Ann Palmer. Ethan Kent Parsons. Anthony Joseph Reardon. Catherine Ann Rush. Dylan J. Shear. Brooke Ann Stom. Dustin Marshall Stoll. Caitlin Elizabeth Walters. Robert Lewis Young. We will now recognize our graduates with a major in park management and conservation. Joshua Michael Allen. Caroline Abigail Doty. Roy Spencer Hawkins. Colby Dean Ketrin. Michael Albert Konowalski. Alexandra Leanne Kurth. Chandler Wayne Ryan. Nathan James Shipley. Gregory Charles Solentrop. Jordan Charles Sawyer. We will now recognize our graduates with a major in wildlife and outdoor enterprise management. Sawyer Charles Askren. Thomas Allen Becker. Blaine Aaron Cash. 
Jamie Walter Hitt. Dustin Criley. Taylor John Myers. Nicholas M. Wheeling. Okay. Dexter Levi Wiley. We will now pause to change sides and introduce the remaining graduates, starting with graduates in animal sciences and industry. It's now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Ken Odie, head of the Department of Animal Sciences and Industry, who will present to the graduates receiving the Bachelor of Science in agriculture with a major in animal sciences and industry. Jonathan Andrew Alexander. <laughs> Mackenzie Avo Alexander. Caitlin Mary Allen. Nicole Marie Armbrister. Aaron Michelle Atsavs. William Cody Baumgartner. Ross Donald Beckner. Alex Bellarive. Kelsey Joe Benada. Samantha May Bodie. Renee Lorraine Bushling. Samantha Marie Bolin. Samantha Lynn Boyagan. Logan Michael Bracey. Carson Renee Brown. Lauren Elizabeth Brown. Kristen Nicole Bulmer. Stella Leone Canfield. Cody Campbell. Tenery Ann Carter. Haley Elizabeth Schuven. Annie Bonner Clark. Shanna Ray Clifford. Caitlin Elizabeth Comstock. Kelsey Lynn Conrad. Adam Joseph Cope. Miguel Angel Del Toro. Ryan D. Diedrich. Seth. Jacob Deem. David Logan Duncan. Rachel Eisen. Jacob Anthony Ersig. Danielle Naomi Estivo. Megan Sarah Ewell. Monica Farfan. Oh 
Susie Quinn Fowler. Garrett Ray Frank. Ethan Lynn Franz. Melissa Darby Frerichs. Lane Curtis Geese. Sydney Lynn Ghosh. Kia Marie Gorley. Cooper Will Hamilton. Jordan Hatcher. Andrew Jacob Haynes. Tyler J. Hyman. Lauren Danielle Herman. Connor Joseph Hewitt. Jacqueline Ann Hines Moreland. Allison Whitney Hobson. Kyle David Hooker. Ethan Zachary Horn. Savannah Lizette Couder Isley. Taylor Johanna Isley. Brady Robert Jensen. Whoops. Shannon Helen Kellish. Shane A. Kerner. Jake Allen Kingsley. Joshua Paul Edwin Knapp. Sarah Catherine Kratzer. Jake Dean Kubik. Shelby Lawrence Leonard. Bracy James Lerner. Brandon Robert Line. Karen Lisette Lelish. Gil Gilberto Mendoza Jr. Chelsea Nicole Lutz. Elizabeth Paige Lutz. Kelsey Verlin Madden. Chase Patrick Minahan. Timothy Joseph Minahan. Lauren Ashley Minix. Amanda Catherine Miskell. Yasmin Chantrail Mitchell. Cheyenne Marie Moyer. <coughs> Mary Beth Mucky. Darren Christopher Mueller. Courtney Merritt Nicholson. Katrina Cheyenne Neiman. Stevie Lynn Nitschke. Kelsey Joe Nolting. 
Kelly Lynn Niffler. Tyler Ottensmeyer. Haley Elizabeth Passure. Lindsay Ray Pease. Danielle Marine Pintar. Star Takia Lynn Price. Corinne Ruth Reese. Casey Ann Rempe. Tyler Jacob Robinson. Pamela B. Rodriguez. Tess Elizabeth Reichener. Caitlin Laurel Salmons. Salmons. Laura Janine Samuels. Michael Jared Shetler. Maura Nicole Schmidling. Allie Marie Schmidtberger. Courtney May Schultz. Spencer Shannon Scotton. Rachel Christine Shelor. Kendall Shay Shinnefield. Daniel Nicole Spafford. Tyler John Spohr. Blake Michael Stallbomber. Roxanne Elizabeth Steinloggy. Kelsey May Stelting. Amanda Stevens Roberts. Garrett Lee Stevenson. Kyle Edward Stromgren. Samantha Ray Steichel. Garrett Frank Tarsha. Brielle Ruth Lyella Thompson. Lauren Nicole Thorne. Clinton J. Todd. Lindsey Ray Upperman. Brett Austin Vogt. Anastasia Elisa Wacker. Felicia Renee Walker. Madison Alexandra Weda. Cam Tyler Camden Weedle. Caitlin Page Whipple. Haley D. White. Sarah Elizabeth White. Morgan Genevieve Wiedenhoft. Elizabeth Helen Wilk. Victoria Camilla Willis. Joanna Barbara Wilson. Gavin Michael Wisecarver. Nicole Dawn Woods. Mariah Ann Wolzencroft. 
Ashley Marie Zelenka. Next, John Unruh, professor and teaching coordinator in food science and industry undergraduate programs, will present the undergraduates receiving the Bachelor of Science in Food Science and Industry. Crystal J. Anderson Morales. Julie Renee Bitter. Megan Renee Crawshaw. Frazier William Egan. Christopher Frederick. Amelia R. Govert. Walter David Hampton III. Gordon Jonathan Parton. Alexandra Renee Hawk. Philip Hieronymus. Rachel Michelle Henderson. Molly Elizabeth Knight. Kingsley Onachia Chaloka Mbike. <laughs> Daniel James Neely. Yuda O. Miles Adam Pearson. Ian Patrick Quinlan. Kara Ann Roberts. Isaac Eli Rothfuss. Victor Ryu. Michelle Joy Sunny. Ja Sin Tang. Alexander Kajer Thompson. Next, Dr. Gordon Smith, head of the Department of Grain Science and Industry, will present to the graduates receiving the Bachelor of Science degrees in Bakery Science and Management, Feed Science and Management, and Milling Science and Management. First is Bakery Science. Rachel Elizabeth Budkey. Shay Wynn Sean. Julie Elizabeth Edmonds. Emily Grace Elliott. Julie Ann Hansen. Ann Elizabeth Hartman. Cannon Joel Holtgreave. Shushin Lee. Barin Hong. Lacey Christine Schmidt. Next will be our graduates in feed science and management. Matthew Joseph Bentler. Cole Stephen Buffo. Catherine Ann Karst. Ira Lloyd Parsons. Jonna Renee Wright. Next will be our graduates in milling science and management. Tyler Dwight Adair. Tanner James Burning. 
Carl Martin Yonke. Kyle D. McCormick. Andrew Kyle Peterson. Ethan Garrett Rice. Jesse Curtis Snyder. Tyler Tate Thomas. Corey James Tifo. Congratulations to our graduates. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> graduates, commencement is not about the finish. It's all about the beginning. The beginning of new careers, for some of you new families, and for all of you a new stage in your lives. You can be proud to be a graduate of Kansas State, the first land-grant university in the nation. But we do have a few expectations of you as a K-State College of Ag alum. First, we expect you to capitalize on your education and the training you have received to make valuable contributions in your careers and to your professions, as well as to continue your professional development as a lifelong learner. Secondly, we expect you to build upon the outstanding record of citizenship, philanthropy, and service that you have established at K-State by becoming outstanding members of the communities to which you relocate to start your careers or to continue your schooling. Get involved and be engaged in community activity, activities. They need your talent and they need your leadership skills. But graduates, what truly makes the K-State College of Agriculture great is the involvement and expectations of our alumni. Thus, we expect you to keep bleeding purple, to stay involved with K-State, and to continue to challenge us to be the best that we can be. I'm very confident that I speak for all of our faculty, staff, and administrators when I say it has truly been our privilege to contribute to your education and be a part of your lives these last few years. We're very proud of you, and we wish you the very best. Again, would everyone congratulate these students one more time, graduates. Thanks to all of you for participating in this special occasion for our graduates. We ask that all the audience remain seated for the formal recessional. The graduates will follow the stage party to the rear of the floor seating and up the far north section and meet the where the families can exit immediately behind your section and you can meet your graduates on the upstairs concourse. This will help us clear the floor for the next ceremony that follows. Thank you once again to our musicians for sharing their musical talents and to Ben Brown, John Neiman, and Reagan Kays for speaking at our ceremony today. Again, my congratulations and best wishes to the graduates. For our adjournment, would everyone please rise and join us in the K-State Alma Mater, led by Katrina Neiman. Katrina?